hello everyone in this short tutorial today we shall be learning how to repeat header in every page you have in the word document when the need arises to repeat header may become handy when you have table like this very one that contains so many products and extend to so many serial numbers this make it very difficult to know the column or row to input data when you have scrolled down to the other pages below. In this case, you are left with the option of scrolling up and down to be able to input data in the exact places, thereby consuming a lot of time. So in this video, you learn how to repeat header in all the pages so as to make your work very easy for example if you have this header in this very page then you have to get the same header in page two or three and so on automatically is what will make that work easier for you in this video you learn two very simple methods of doing this please watch this video to the end so you don't miss anything first make sure you are on the header highlight the entire header put your cursor at the beginning of the header and just tap once to highlight the header if your headers are more than one select all together in this tutorial i only have one header so i highlight the header i right click on the header then i select table properties as you open up this dialog box from here we have table we have row column cell and the rest of them you tap on row then you tick repeat as header row at the top of each page then you press ok when we scroll up you notice that this is page 2 it has the same header and when we scroll again, this is page three, and it has the same header. So we undo the come out. We don't have the headers again in page two and page three. The second method of doing this is to first highlight the header. After you have highlighted the header, you go to this layout. Remember. We have two layouts. This is table two layout tab. Then from the data group, click on repeat header rows. This will automatically apply header to all your pages. It doesn't matter the number of pages you have. But when we scroll up, you notice that it has applied header in page two and page three. In any of these two examples, when you want to remove the header, just go up to the layout tab once again, data group, and just tap on the repeat header row. As you might have noticed, the header has disappeared from here. When you click again, it will come back. So if whenever you don't want it, you just tap on this repeat header row again, and it will remove the header from the page. If you have tried any of these two methods type in the one you like in the comment below and if you also have any question concerning this topic please use the comment box below i will try to answer all your questions we have come to the end of this short tutorial today if you get some value from this video please like the video subscribe to my channel click the bell icon so youtube will notify you once i drop a new video and please don't forget to share this video with family and friends. Have a wonderful day.